It finally came. I got my Secret Labs Titan 2020 Softweave Black Chair. I'm finally gonna have a computer chair again after that crappy Vertigear broke. So let's put this together and give some initial thoughts and review on it. Since so many of you pointed out I didn't follow the instructions on that monitor, I'm gonna read these. So it's actually been a couple of weeks since I put the chair together and it was so comfortable, I bought a second one for my wife. It is fantastic. It's able to get me through a full day's worth of work. I can do my gaming or hobbies afterwards, this video editing, and I'm not sitting there struggling and paying like I was when I was using her chair or I don't feel like it's going to break as easily as the Vergear chairs kept breaking for me. Normally with a chair like this, there's always some sort of wiggle or give or something like that after you've been using it for a little while. And I have not noticed that with this. Uh, there's no give in the pneumatics. There's no wiggle in the armrests. Uh, there's no creak when I lean back. It's at least at this point, well oiled, still holding together perfectly. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing even some basic breakdown that you would typically see. The cushion is phenomenal. It is, um, I, would, I would equate it to probably a firm mattress. There's just enough give to make it comfortable that you're not sore, it's not sitting on your body weird, it's um, contoured correctly, but at the same time, it's firm enough that you're not just sinking through or that you're gonna feel like the padding is going to disappear on you as the years go on. Now, I did go with the black. I canceled my cookies and cream and went with that. And after I've kind of been sitting and using this for a while, uh, it was so awesome that I actually bought my wife one and so we we will both be using the Secret Lab 2020 just because that's how much I feel confident that this chair is going to last me, where at the very least, if there's some sort of weird issue down the line, they are going to be supportive and actually you know, replace the parts as needed. It was a pretty awesome surprise that I got the chair about a month earlier than what the back order listed. So it's very cool to see that these things are shipping out better than any NVIDIA product we've seen this year. As for the materials and design, the cloth actually seems like it's going to hold up. It doesn't actually snag or sag off of the material at all. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues there with this wearing down and ripping apart. There's some awesome like micro suede uh, trimmings on the side on the areas that will actually take more uh, friction, I guess, from your legs or, or uh, your arms as you are reaching for things off to the side. So that's there and it seems to be protective. It makes the chair look even cooler. And um, honestly, I don't see any or foresee any sort of issues that you would see with like pleather or something like that where it ends up splitting over time. So I did have one issue with the instructions and that was the tabs that you put on the side to adjust the seat. Uh, they're omnidirectional tabs, so basically they sent you two, you're supposed to connect them, but when you're connecting the chair, you're not really thinking which way should these be facing, forward or back, and the instructions don't really let you know that, and there is truly only one direction they should go. So one of the minor things that they could have probably color-coded or pointed an arrow or something, but it's super minor. Now as for the actual box and, and packaging, I don't think I've ever received anything this taken care of in the shipping process. Uh, it was, everything was in an air sealed bag. The foam was very custom fit to this. It wasn't just, you know, foam peanuts that I was gonna get everywhere or some cheap foam that is brittle and, and splinters all throughout my house. So uh, it was very impressive to see everything was fit in there as it should be, nothing was going to move, nothing was going to rub or get damaged along the way. So that was very neat, um, as well as the tools that came with it. We're all used to getting that Allen wrench that that comes with the chair that you know you struggle with the entire time. There's some angles that you have to like keep like barely manipulating this thing. And they came with um, what I would say is a little adaptable magnetic handle that has both a hex key on one side and a uh, Phillips head on the other and you can use that or you can use the Allen key with it or without it and it gave you plenty of room to get some torque. You had all the angles you needed to easily and quickly attach all of the bolts without any of that little fidgeting and struggle. Typically on a project like this, 
I would be digging in my drawer by now, trying to find the correct uh, drill head that I could put some weird adapter on there and do the rest of the work because I've just, I've gotten fed up. And that wasn't the case. I actually, I've actually kept that tool. I used it. Um, I built a new desk for myself that uh, you'll see in the background here. And I'll have a video coming up about that. But uh, I've used it. So it's the first time I've had a practical one that I didn't just throw away or toss in the pile of the 50 others that I've had. So that was, it's a surprise as well. Typically, you see very little effort in the supplies that they give you. It's just enough to get the chair together and not really any quality or thought around it. So would I recommend the chair? Well, I hope the fact that I said that I bought another one for my wife. I mean, I probably let it bake for a couple days and I said, okay, this is, this is the chair that we need to get you out of your crappy little like Amazon chair. Um, it is well worth the price. It fits my structure well. Again, I'm about 200 pounds, six foot two. So, um, you know, use that as a baseline for yourself. Maybe you need to get the, uh, I think it's the Titan XL, the next size up or the Omega, which is a size down. But I think it is a phenomenal fit. It's very comfortable. The build is great. And for the fact that these were so back ordered and their site lets you know, hey, here's the ranges we think they're coming. And it still came a month early was great customer service from the start. As always, I'm Chris from Code the Things. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will catch you next time.